Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Simpson Connector, the HGAM, Hurricane Gusset, Angle for Masonry. We're going to get into all the details of how to install it. Here's what I have in order to install this. Pretty sure this was a 3 inch, 3 8 inch bit that I had to run down to Lowe's to get. Um, again, here's your circles. Oh, and I also had to do a little extension. Here's a Makita impactor. And the reason I had to do that was just because of all of the constraints that I had in here. So again, I already have my line marked. I want to make sure that I don't go over the edge there. And here is our first one installed. Basically, there was a knot in there, but this ended up drilling through it. It was pretty cool to see the sawdust come out. This one hopefully will be a little bit more normal. All right, so now the next thing that you want to do is mark on the concrete where your uh, Titan turbos are going to go. So what I've been doing lately is just using this center punch, trying to align it somewhat center in each one of the holes, and it just leaves a little bit of a dimple for the impactor, the roto hammer, to be able to find. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're thinking about dust, and I have my son with me, so he's going to turn on the vacuum cleaner. Go ahead, and here we go. Now, you want to make sure that you've cleaned out all of the, nope, leave that on. Make sure you've cleaned out all of the concrete in the holes. Now we'll turn that off. Where's the brush at? Here we go. Going to clean this bottom off. I need to change my bit over. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention, that's a 3 16 inch bit. Double check all of these numbers before you go out and buy anything, just in case I've made any kind of a mistake. All right, so let me get this first one set for you. And uh, we painted the bottom with a preservative. That's a cut end. This already has it. So you want to pay attention to all of that. That one looks like it's a little bit in a bad spot. So we'll see how this goes. So there's one. Now I might, because this isn't exactly a structural application, skip that one just to save myself time. This is just a homeowner do-it-yourself type project. You know what? I try to brand myself, if you will, as the rational builder. I'm only going to do two of those. There is no way that that thing's coming out, and I'm going to save myself some time all the rest of the way down the wall. Well, thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You're able to see the different components that come into it. It's really cool to have this type of hardware to make these types of connections. I'm actually going to do a video in the future on how it was that I was able to figure out what hardware to use. And full disclosure or teaser, I'm not the guy that figured it out. So stay tuned for next time. Give me a follow over on Instagram at Pioneer Builders Inc. Thanks for watching. Now go build something.